Ever wondered about the differences between Scala and Java? Well, today we're going to delve into that topic comparing some key aspects of these two influential programming languages. Firstly, let's talk about syntax and expressiveness. Scala prides itself on its concise and expressive syntax. This allows developers to write code with fewer lines compared to Java. Additionally, Scala supports functional programming constructs, which can make code even more concise and expressive. On the flip side, Java has a more verbose syntax. It follows a familiar C-style syntax that many developers find easier to learn and read. Moving on to object-oriented programming. Both Scala and Java are object-oriented languages. However, while Java adheres more strictly to object-oriented principles, Scala combines object-oriented and functional programming paradigms. This mix in Scala allows developers to write code that is more modular, reusable and expressive in certain scenarios. Next, we have the type system. Scala boasts a more advanced and powerful type system compared to Java. It supports type inference, higher-kinded types, pattern matching amongst other features. These can help catch errors at compile time and make code more robust. Java's type system, while less advanced, is generally considered simpler and easier to work with for developers who are new to statically typed languages. On to libraries and ecosystem. Java has been around for a long time and has a vast ecosystem of libraries, frameworks, and tools. It has strong support for enterprise development with frameworks like Spring and Java EE. On the other hand, Scala has a growing ecosystem with libraries and frameworks that leverage its functional programming capabilities, such as Akka, Spark, and the Play framework. However, Java's ecosystem is generally more mature and has a larger community. Performance-wise, both Scala and Java can achieve similar levels of efficiency. Scala compiles to bytecode and runs on the Java Virtual Machine JVM, so it can leverage the JVM's optimizations. But due to its more advanced features and expressive syntax, Scala code can sometimes carry a slight overhead compared to Java. The choice between Scala and Java really depends on the specific requirements of your project, the team's expertise, and the trade-offs you are willing to make. If you value concise and expressive code, functional programming, and a powerful type system, Scala may be a better choice. However, if you prefer a simpler syntax, a mature ecosystem, and a larger developer community, Java might be more up your alley. To wrap it up, the best language depends on your specific needs and preferences. If you're unsure, consider starting with Java to get a solid foundation in programming concepts. Once you're comfortable, you can branch out to Scala if its features seem appealing for your future projects. Remember, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more insightful content.